Eh, let's go. Meno uno. Mia? Ricky, wait for your turn. Ricky! Let's go for the cookie, eh? Don't spin the retro phone. Mama, this is the money. Aspettate? Aspettate! Buongiorno! Eh, vieni, vieni, vieni! vieni. Sì? E che non è che è stata? La fotocopia dei documenti! Ma l'ha portata mio marito? Sì, ma non è completata, vedi? Non è compilato, sì! Non la devi compilare! Alla via, vedi! Quattro e mezza! Ciao, ciao Ricky! Hello birds, good morning and welcome back to Love and Friends Fam. How are you doing? Thank you so much for coming to click on this video. My oldies, ah, that romantic kiss is for all of you. <laughs> and to all the new ones, see this pretty girl, this pretty mama for the first time. Thank you so much for coming. Please subscribe. Mwah. Kisses to you guys as well. So, um, guys, I don't know. I'm kind of excited today. This is another vlog. Kids are at school, hobbies at work, I'm at home. My class, my online class is starting in the next um, one hour or thereabout. And I need to make a quick stop at the grocery shop. I need to get the African shop, actually, uh, which is owned by the Asian people. <laughs> they are the only ones that eat our African food here. So um, somehow, while I was going through IG, I am um, Ricardo saw me washing this recipe on opera soup, and really said, "Mama, I want this soup." So, and it's important for me that my kids love our food, if not all, at least some, so that by the time they visit Nigeria, they can actually, you know, blend. So um, I need to make a quick stop at the grocery shop and get this, the things that I need. I already have a curl. I love okra. Though it's not my best soup. My best soup is Onubu soup. Bitanish soup is my best. Then okra. Then all this follow. <laughs> so let me make a quick stop. I get beef and get some, some other things that I'll be needing from there. And then, you know, just enjoy today's vlog. So I am going out like this. I don't have any makeup. Oh, like it's a bit tight. Like <laughs> I don't know if you guys have noticed. I am extremely lazy when it comes to painting my face, and I'm not good at it. That was why I had to get my brows done. For those who do not know, these are these are uh, micro blades uh, brows. Okay, so got my brows done. Even as I got it done, to even be shaving the hair that is that grows, you know, around the brow is a problem for me. Please don't mind me. So I'm just going out like this. It's not like I'm going to look for husband. I have a good one already at home. <laughs> if you like my personality and you're new here, please subscribe. Thank you so much. Guys, let's go, let's go.
Okay guys, so I don't know if I can start showing you guys everything I bought. Beef. The beef I bought. I'm going to use this for two soup, yeah. curry soup, and I have here shaki. Delicious, we love it. So I always buy it. And how many of you love it in this? Oh my god, I absolutely love it in this. Okay, I see. I'm going to make a different video where I'm going to be trying this um this out for the first time. This chicken flavor and roasted beef flavor. So I've been hearing so much about it. A friend of mine said she tried it and it wasn't bad. So I said I'm, I'm gonna give it a try and then you know make a mukbang of it. What it's like. So I bought coconut meal because um, I would love to make um, coconut rice one of these days. And I got this for my salad. I don't know when I'll be making it. I got um, this floor, pandonyam. I eat wheat though, but um, I discovered that my kids actually don't like eating wheat that much. So I'm the one looking for chip, not my children. So let me not put them under the torture of eating wheat. So I said, let me try this pando and see if they will like it. Then I got um, two ice fish. I think that's about it. Okay, so I got this um, Indian ham for hair treatment. Yeah, so I got a small one. Let me try it. And that is it. Basically, this bag is now filled with only plantain chips, nothing else. Basically, all I bought. I already have the rest things that I need. I have okra in the fridge. I have um, dry fish. I have every other thing I need. So I just wanted to just pick a few things, and that is it. I'm behind with drinking my water. So let me drink, guys. So I'm behind because I went out. So now i think um okay when i take this glass of water now the next time i'll be taking water is at 3 p.m 3 p.m two hours later at my husband's place of work and i left my car there for him when he closes from work he will have to go through pass through the kids school to pick them up and they will come home together this has basically been um the way we've been managing our lives lately we are unable right now to afford my husband picking a new car for himself because the old car he had was giving him so much problem that he had to sell it off and he wanted to buy another one, probably not a you know, um, new chassis. You know, when they say new chassis, it's not tear over. Tear over means a new car. Well, probably to get a second-hand car that is still very much okay. But after we lost the millions we lost, <laughs> We needed, we had to cut our coat according to our size, you know, so we can't afford to buy a new car right now. And then it's fine. How do I feel about sharing my car with my husband? It doesn't make, I mean, I don't feel anything. <laughs> I don't feel anything. Or how do I feel about having to sometimes um, leave my car for him and then go on bicycle? It's not a big deal for me. Like, I don't feel anything strange. Besides, over here in Italy, bicycle, in fact, <laughs> the richest person abroad, they go on bicycle. Like, bicycle is so normal here. It's not like in Africa that if you see one on bicycle, they will say poverty. It's not like that over here in Europe. In Europe, Italy to be precise, bicycle is a must-have for every family. Is um, you know, during this um summer period every family goes on bicycle and i and it's not a new experience for me to go on bicycle because before i ever met my husband after my divorce with my first husband i had no car i had no license and i was with my son i went on bicycle i mean i went on bicycle for probably more than a year i was going to work with bicycle i would leave as early as possible to go to work and my place of work was far my first place of work to my second place of work was like roughly an hour and then sometimes it would rain rain will beat me on top of my bicycle sol will beat me on top of my bicycle sometimes at night at midnight what am i saying 1 a.m i'm on bicycle with my son with herself behind my bicycle and we're going home so me right now going back to using my bicycle sometimes is not a shock for me. It is not I, I'm not experienced. it's not a big deal for me because this is a life I've lived. 
and and then later god blessed me with a car and then i had my first car before i met my husband and as soon as i gave birth to um, ricardo my husband brought me a new car so that i have to share with my husband right now meaning i have to use bicycle sometimes i don't feel anything different and i i just thank god for it because sometimes what you go what you're going through in life is also preparing you for something in the future for you to be stronger probably if all my life i've lived on silver spoon and now finding myself sharing my car with my husband I will, and now going on bicycle sometimes it would have hit me hard like the experience would have been harder but I don't feel anything like to me it's even normal to me like maybe it's also a way for me to like you know exercise more lose a little bit weight my husband doesn't feel happy about it because him being an Italian his mentality is kind of different he feels like he's making me suffer he feels like he's stressing me up so much that I have to go on bicycle sometimes this man don't even understand I've lived this life before so it's no big deal for me and I know it's just a phase I know um, with time things will get back to normal and you know my husband can have the car he desires you know it's just a period of trial for us and I know there are people going through worse there are people that don't even have a car their husband and wife that don't even have a car so what, are, what do I have to complain guys please let me go for now catch you all in a bit a few minutes later Vedure, okro, carne e semolino. Buon appetito. Si sta pensando a me, che è mio. 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 Brava Mia! Sei forte Mia! Perché è buona!